good ladies and gentlemen so many people have requested me from many many months to share some personal stories of inspiration and some personal stories on astrology spirituality which helped me in my life journey and there you go so today i will start with one small story and if the response for this series is good then i will make more videos on this also all right so this is the story of an amazing tantric who i met almost 15 years back in the year 2004 it was a great divine experience meeting this person he was a very 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 spiritual person who i met and he was also psychic and he was also knowing tantra very well and uh, he could give predictions and he could say stuff which nobody could ever imagine <laughs> and he also gave me many remedies and some of them <laughs> disappeared in time but i still wish i would have done certain remedies but uh, yeah there are certain things which i still do which he told me to do all right so there you go if you are new to the channel then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me then you could go down to my website below in the description section and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so yes uh, it was the year 2004 and my birth was i mean uh, i stayed in assam in india in a place called guwahati and my father was the collector the district magistrate of a district called bongaigao uh, in the year 2004 and then there's a place near bongaigao it's called gualpara these are all places in assam so in gualpara there is a very famous temple it is known as the mahamaya temple it's a temple dedicated to goddess durga one of the forms of goddess durga devi mahamaya and it was a very interesting place and it is one of the most famous temples in assam and it was uh, the temple was inaugurated by my grandfather my mother's father and my mother's father was an is officer uh, late soneshwar kalita and he was the this district collector the mag district magistrate of gualpara district that time that time gualpara district was a very big district in assam it was a combination of current six seven districts together now gualpara is very small of course so the now when my father was the collector of bongaigao bongaigao and gualpara are neighbor neighboring districts so we went to this mahamaya temple because my mother used to say that uh, yes this temple was opened by your grandfather so you must visit so we visited and then just above the mahamaya temple if you go there is a temple dedicated to goddess kali who is also one of the forms of goddess durga mahamaya of course so that kali mandir there we went and they said that there is a great tantric here so you should visit this tantric and then what happened uh, me my father and my grandmother my mother's mother she was alive that time so we all of us went to mahamaya temple and then we went to that kali mandir which was a bit above the mahamaya temple it, it was like in a hill they say like this and then what happened this tantric was there <laughs> He was sitting in meditation and he was informed that the collector of the neighboring district is here. So then he came and he was like, he was not speaking anything. He just turned his head once and he was still continuing his meditation. And after some time, he opened his eyes and in front of him, there was a big stone. They say that was a divine stone. So in that stone, what he did, he hit his head three times like this. One, two, three, like this. And we could hear the sound. It was like very strong. And then we were wondering, I mean, this person is crazy or what? He's <laughs> hitting his head <laughs> in a stone like this. And then, you know, I was a bit confused. What's going on here? It was looking a bit dangerous. 
and then what happened he came uh, he turned towards us and he told to my father that very soon you will be transferred from here and my father was like what i mean how can i be transferred because i have been assigned as the collector just 6 months back and generally in assam the collector positions are there minimum for 1 and 1/2 to 2 years so how is it possible that they will transfer me so fast it's not possible or my father didn't say like that but he was wondering how that's possible and then this tantric said it will happen and then we were like <laughs> and then what happened uh, later on he said the current mla the member of legislative assembly who is the for the westerners he's like the you know elected representative he's like the minister there he's not minister exactly but he's like the politician he's not happy because you are doing certain audits about his money and my father said yeah, yeah i am doing that but he's not happy because of that so he will go he has told the chief minister that he wants you to be transferred he doesn't want anybody to do all these investigations and then what happened uh, my father said okay could be and finally then uh, we we all of us talked with him me my mother and my brother and my grandmother also and then we told them that uh, this mahamaya temple was been it was once opened by our grandfather and he was very happy to know that and uh, then he told my mother that both of your sons will go abroad and uh, then my mother was like okay <laughs> because my brother has also been working in brussels uh, in 2015 and 2016 and now he's in india of course and i have been here in germany from last 4 years so that was one prediction he gave and uh, then he turned to me and he told me that there is one uh, there are certain things which i will tell you which you must do of course i was very small those days i was in barely 12 <laughs> but yeah i still took his words very seriously and um, he told me that you should read the ramayan you should read the mahabharat every day you should read and uh, he gave me a tabiz you know it's like a holy lock a chain which there are certain things in that if you for the westerners if you don't know what a tabiz is you can just google you will find okay it's like a holy chain or a holy necklace or a holy ring or something like that and uh, he he did lot of prayers uh, and then he said that now this tabiz is yours all right so every day morning you should get up and uh, after you take bath you should uh, go and uh, offer water and tulsi to this tabis you know in front of the sun and he told me what are the mantras that you should recite why you should do this you know this will take care of rahu and this will keep you away from addictions and then i was like fascinated wow <laughs> not bad <laughs> and then he told me that uh, if you do this then your life will be improved you know you, you will have a very good life later on and he told me these these are the mantras you should chant one or two mantras not 108 times but casually just and then he was very knowledgeable very divine and he was sharing lots and lots of spiritual stuff with me and we were fascinated and then later on we came back and then within 48 hours my father called and he said that they have st- initiated my transfer order you not know, the chief minister's order that you are to be transferred and then we were like my god <laughs> and then uh, my father said yes so i'm coming back to guwahati from bongaigaon now but then what happened there were elections or some something was there in india or in assam that time the government had put stay orders for that i guess elections were there that time i don't remember exactly but due to some reason the government had put stay orders stay order means no transfers can happen that time so then after the elections were over in 2005 the, the, the order was again uh, called and then later on after 13 months my father was transferred back to guwahati from bongaigaon and uh, so that is what he predicted you know it's just like <laughs> i don't know how he did it he did not see any horoscope 
or he did not see any hand or he didn't even know who we are or who from which family we are so some divine knowledge he had maybe but that's not important anybody can give fancy predictions and you know sometimes things can be correct that's not important but the important thing is that uh, he was a very spiritual person and he was a great worshiper of goddess kali and it is said that goddess kali used to personally talk to her uh, talk to talk to him sorry and uh, he used to receive enlightenment from her so we are very fascinated by meeting this person when i went near this person i got this feeling that he is not a person from this realm maybe he is from some higher realms you know who knows who sometimes comes in forms which we take to be very ordinary yes so that was my experience and then i used to do this worship of the tabis and with tulsi tulsi is one of the holy leaves in hinduism uh, this is a very famous tree you can pluck the leaves and they say you should worship tulsi herself and you can use tulsi to worship other areas also within the vedic context and then uh, now i don't remember where that tabis is <laughs> it got lost somewhere in time and even i had asked my mother where is that tabis can you just pluck it and then she said even i don't know where that is so that's lost somewhere unfortunately but yes uh, he had told me to read the scriptures and from that time i have been reading and i'm very happy i did that <laughs> and um, he's a very divine person of course now he's not there anymore he has left his body and uh, it was a very nice person so that is what i wanted to share that sometime somewhere you travel and suddenly you meet people you know who just transform your life sometimes all right so apart from that there are many such instances which i will surely share in the near future okay so let me know if you like this video and if you want me to make more videos like this all right <laughs> so if you like these videos and you write it in the comments only then i will make more videos in this series okay otherwise maybe i don't make <laughs> all right thank you very much wish you all the best namaste